Hello, I'm Beverly from the Midland Public Library Program Assistant and today on Know Your Local Species we are going to talk about owls. Did you know that there are 11 kinds of owls that live in Ontario? One is the Great Horned Owl. Its habitat is practically unlimited as long as there are trees and rocky nesting sites available. These owls are quite large and look fierce. To identify, look at their long tufts of feathers that resemble ears on their head. Also, check out their intimidating eyes. Short-eared owls. This mid-sized, tawny brown, molted owl is widely distributed across North America. These birds mostly hunt in the daytime when voles, their favorite meal, are active. These owls build their nests on ground in open area, these owls are not particularly vocal. The American barn owl. Barn owls, aka church owls, ghost owls, or monkey-faced owls, have a heart-shaped face that is sandy colored with dark brown edge. Interestingly, the shape of the owl's face steers sound to their ears, which helps them make the most efficient hunter by sound ever test. So good they can locate small animals under dense brush or snow with ease. They even hunt bats. Did you know there are more than 40 unique varieties of barn owls? Northern saw wet owl. If you see this tiny owl in Ontario, there's a good chance it's a northern saw wet owl. The fact that this species is one of the smallest owls on the planet. They prefer dense mixed hardwood forests with a river nearby. Sometimes they'll nest in woodpeckers' holes that have been abandoned. Barred owl. Barred owl, aka the hoot owl, are the unthreatened nocturnal owl found in Ontario. Barred owls rely on mice and other small rodents, but will eat just about any Thing made of meat. The Eastern Screech Owl. Screech Owls may remind you of a professional wrestler since they are short, stocky, and have no neck. These owls can either be gray or red, with about a third of all individuals being red. These owls settle in almost any wooded area in Ontario. Long-Eared Owl. Long-Eared Owls are also known as the Northern Long-Eared Owl. Long-eared owls are known as a northern long-eared owl, lesser horned owl, or cat owl because of their cat-like facial features. They are secretive and roost in dense foliage. Snowy owl. Snowy owls are one of the most stunning animals on the planet. With their white plumage stops almost everyone in their tracks, both birds and non-birders alike. Although they are mostly white, they have horizontal dark lines all over their bodies except the face and breast. Individuals seem to get whiter with age. Well, don't we all? Snowy owls migrate with the changing season. During the summer, they mate and breed in northern Canada on the tundra. But when white winter arrives, these birds come south. Great gray owl. If you're lucky enough to see one of these, they are stunning raptors. Many people think they look like they are wearing a gray suit with a bow tie around its neck. These owls cover a lot of territory for their range, but they prefer to live in a forest near a clearing. Boreal Owl. The Boreal Owl is an incredibly small owl found in Ontario. They can be tricky to identify because they have a variety of colors from reddish brown to gray and patterns. Even though it is genetically the same owl, they can possess either dots or streaks and sometimes both on the top or bottom of their body. Boreal owls live in the boreal forest and can be seen in stands of aspen, poplar, spruce, fir, and birch trees. These birds are harder to study. They're, they are more remote. These owls like to perch in low forest and alpine areas and tilt their head back and forth to scan for prey sounds. And our 11th owl is the northern hawk owl. Northern hawk owl commonly feeds on voles since they can be eaten whole and generally plentiful. They also eat baby hares, red squirrels, mice, rats, and lemmings. Small songbirds fit into their diet, such as robins, jays, starlings, grackles, finches, and sparrows. Males make a rolling hoot, 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 hoot sound repeat 10 to 200 times. 
Females have a similar call, but it is shorter and more hoarse. Note the tough bits on the top of many owls' heads are not ears. They're displayed feathers. The owl's ears are hidden on the sides of the head, with one placed higher than the other. This allows the owl to precisely pinpoint where sounds are coming from. Contrary to popular lore, owls can't turn their heads all the way around. They can, however, turn 135 degrees to either side, giving them a 270 degree range of motion. Pretty impressive when you compare it to humans. Relatively measly 160 degrees, owls' eyes can't move in their socket, so they must move their heads in order to see. Owls are divided into two distinct families. A group of owls is called a parliament. Although owls are considered nocturnal raptors using their talons and beaks to grab and eat prey, they're biologically more closely related to hummingbirds. Owls' primary feathers have stiff leading edges which reduce noise and soften tailing edges which reduce turbulence, both of which combine in a swift silent flight. Owls have no teeth, so they can't chew their prey. Instead, they tear their food into small bits and swallow prey whole. Owl's digestive system, specifically an organ called a gizzard, digests what's edible and compacts what isn't into the palate, which gets regurgitated. I hope you have enjoyed this Know Your Local Species.